So if the leaders in this society are criminals, you don't expect young people to be saints. Currently, we are harassing women. I've seen a lot of rubbish in the social media. Thank you, sir, for saying that statement. Femi Falano said, and I quote, that if the leaders of the society are criminals, you don't expect the youth to be saint. And that is what exactly, that is exactly who they are. The politicians of Nigeria, the leaders of Nigeria, they are all criminals. You don't expect we, the youth, to be saints. Huh? My people stay connected to the very end of this video so that I will show you everything that Femi Falano said in this video. He was directing the abuse straight to Bola Ahmed Dunubu's administration. Stay connected to the very end. I'll be back. See you soon. Andre Nereko. The hold of crime scene. It's happening in the street again. The center of political news. Celebrity gossip, religious gossip, and happiness in the society. Join us, the voice of Africa. Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lightport TV show. If you are new to the show, don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and also drop your comments in the comment section so that YouTube will notify you anytime we drop another video into this channel about what is going on in Nigeria, in Africa, and especially what is going on in Nigerian politics. Believe me when I tell you that the problem of this country is not that we the citizens are supporting the wrong persons or, or we the citizens don't know what to do to save our country. But the problem of this country is that the people that we believe, that we hope to do the right thing, that we have put all our trust on them that they are going to do the right thing are the people that are behind the bad things in this country. They are the ones that are that that are incorporating the bad things, the wicked things, the the the, the disgracing things that are, that are happening in this in this country. See, what Femi Falano said in this video really really marvels me. It opened my mind to the point that to 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 a state that I, I saw, I I was I was you know seeing what these politicians are they are doing with Nigerians. Because uh, the video I'm about to play for you, it, it, it is very, very surprising. You will not believe that these things are happening in this in this country. Because Femi Falano exposed a lot of things. He exposed a lot of things about what is going on. About Bola Mesh Tunubu's plans and everything. He exposed it. He, 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 he opened our eyes. See, my people, let me just play this video for you so that I will not just talk too much and explain as uh, and explain what i'm not supposed to explain but if you stay connected to the very end of this video i'll be back to as uh, to add more to what Femi, Femi, Femi Farano said in this video i'll be back see you soon colleagues so that we don't live here and get the impression that some of the most important problems we have to resolve in Nigeria are some of the ones my colleagues have mentioned one Mr. Chairman, you wonder that young people are no longer prepared to embrace positive values and ideas. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you have to say you are not a sociologist. But I think it was Karl Marx that made the point that the ideas of the ruling class are the prevailing ideas in any historical epoch. So if the leaders in this society are criminals. You don't expect young people to be saints. Currently, we are harassing women. I've seen a lot of rubbish in the social media because about three women are suspected to have stolen 44 billion. So all of us are saying, this woman, this woman, just yesterday. The SEC reported that they were going to reopen the cases of 13 governors accused of stealing 722 billion So please, let us study this society very well. 
Baby, I beg you. Baby, I beg you. I beg you. Please, be very careful in demanding for state police. Please, please. We have a history of this country in this country. You want to give state police to wicked? No, let's listen now. Uh, the fellow in Kogi, Bello. Yaya Bello. Please. David, I know a governor. You know him. Who was accused in one of the states in the southwest of killing a World Bank expert? Dr. Yodana of killing Julia Mandela who contested as a counselor on the platform of SCP in the United States. So when we are talking of state police, this constitution, court me, does not recognize, there's no federal government police in Nigeria. What we have, sir, is a federal federation police which the governors out of share when my little friend has left AG. I was going to challenge him. The governors have abdicated their constitutional responsibility by sharing police powers with the president. And I tell you what, section 214 of the constitution provides that there shall be only one police force in Nigeria to remove or appoint a night chief, section 216. The president shall consult the Nigerian Police Council. What are the duties of the Nigerian Police Council? To administer, organize, and supervise the Nigerian Police Force. Let us know when the rain began to beat us in making our demand. On the Constitution, Mr. Nation. Which Constitution? In spite of the fact that this Constitution is defective. People are smiling to the banks at your expense. Come on, son, Yes, thank you. You criticize rightly. Remove our first something. But I also wanted you to tell us what the governors are making, what the president is making monthly, and the local governments. In every this year, you can Google what the three parts of government share was 655 billion naira. Since first subsidy was removed in June, no month, no month that they have shared less than one trillion naira. In, in June, they shared 1.9 trillion naira. In December, it was 1.7 trillion. They were so, they were so happy. All the governors, regardless of political party, they invented Lagos to thank the president for this like this. They are getting everyone. So please, on like early days, it's so easy now to fight for good governance in our country. All that the military, we couldn't have a meeting like this. One. They will surround the fight. They will allow this meeting. Somebody said yesterday, now two days ago, that uh, he wanted to make a different name his friend. That was that. Please. We also have a duty to tell the guy. He almost killed Gadi. Caught me. Gadi was almost killed. When you know, I'm not Because Gadi wanted the killers of the Legua exposed and prosecuted. His chambers, the father was his house. They invented to place gunmen and ran guns. Shot at the house. They almost killed the guy. They fought. You know, it's like that to be amputated. That was why all people by the state started in Nigeria. Ghani was taking, Ghani wanted to have a meeting like this. Or managing to sack. He got just like Chilumun and Comrade. A banker said there was no alternative to sack. Yeah, yeah, another comment said there must be alternative. So they wanted to have a meeting. They stopped it. In the NNC office, we then went to Gadi's office. Said, come, who wants it there? 
in Stoke. Baba Lila took a little Joshua where he almost died. He said it was your friend. You tried to live with Jesus for long. You say it was your friend. Baba Lila left Gary in detention to show the fact that he missed us. So how can he be your friend? Oh please, I beg you. Uh, miss, madam, madam, please. Can you would have wanted to give an assignment to the NDA here today? Can you fall for human rights? All of us who now go to court to promote public interest litigation. Can you was killed by Josiah Rebe for challenging Babangida for dissolving the ruling council in a first Can you call the family? We need to go to court. Now you are going to be the plaintiff, that you will choose me as a plaintiff. <laughs> and so, when you want to cut, this judge, because I already did the guy, I already don't want to become CJ, he was acting. Said in his judgment, nobody can challenge Babangira because he's the cabinet of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He made judgment. So, our case was now put before the state court, where we are challenging the state of Bangla for behaving like the Kadis. Just a your day. Jeff Gali, but he made a mistake. Instead of the maximum period of 12 months, no, three months, he jailed him 12 months. That was how we were going to get him out of the day. But please, madam, the law has imposed a duty on chief magistrate in every magisterial district in Nigeria. Visit all the police stations at least once a month to take out people who should not be there. NDA, no, no plan. We are giving an assignment to NDA because NDA has 25 branches. And 128 branches with human rights committees. And you would have wanted those human rights committees, the member, to follow the magistrate to visit all police stations in Nigeria so that there will be no illegal detention. In Kenya, you did very well last week by having a protest against police brutality. Ghana would have wanted to lead such a protest. But what you took out of there is that the CP, Commissioner of Police in Denver, has now said on a monthly basis, the leaders of the bar in Lagos State and the CP and his officers will meet to ensure that police brutality, police harassment becomes a thing of the past in the state. If we can succeed, madam, we can go around the country. The final point, madam, uh, is uh, this is uh, how we do it, but we're still around. Thank you. In this world, and we must all take this home. Because all of us you want to show that you are civilized. You speak English to your children at home. At the end of the day, your languages will become extinct. In Ghana's home, not only were they were speaking Yoruba, they were speaking Odo dialect. Get it? Now, now she found me come my house one day. My son picked it up. Uh, first, the cell is speaking, please. Can you? So, tell me, I mean, you left me go ahead. Is that not from his house? You are speaking English to me. He said, No, sir. We didn't know, I didn't know you are the one speaking, sir. Even in this home, because of your own decree, we are not allowed to speak English in this house. Today, the friends of my children ask them, Where did you learn your Yoruba from? But here, we teach our children English. Because we want to be similar. At the end of the day, we can't speak our local language. Please, madam, for those people here, I thought what we are going to take home from Shell and Zenwa is that the struggle in our country for justice and fair play knows no tribe or religion. One day we were taking to Punjab prison. 1993. 
because there was a huge protest in Lagos. More than a million people on the street. And so when Babangida and others thought we were behind it, but I called and she went forward and I said, so they took the adopted us in Lagos and we landed the Kujia prison again. We were there the previous year. The regime thought foolishly that there would be no more protest. Even Chief Alani was worried and friendly. He was telling the family, who did he see that we were causing all this? I said, Chief, we haven't seen nothing yet. We have a crop of young people, sir, who were exposed to the regime to ridicule. And so why were we in prison? Let go streets, because they were then killing people who were protesting. Young people said, we are boycotting civil disobedience. Yeah, and so the entire Lagos was empty. So the my uh, one of the temple magazines that carried me was smuggled to our cell. That day she found me. Jump up! She said, ah, in a dealer in my lifetime. And that was what the kind of song during the Ensign put. The young people that carried out the Ensign put. I have taught all of us one lesson. We see that if we are organized, we can change the way. This rulers who are ruining our country, they may, the constitution has become a Monday gospel affair in the National Assembly. Every session of the National Assembly must vote billions to write the constitution. But the only thing, please, sir, if you are throwing away the constitution, please, don't throw away chapter two that provides for education for our children, right to health, even right to unemployment benefits. So that constitution. So we're not going to throw that away. Let me inform you, and I do hope, that the bar will join this struggle. There are 20.2 million Nigerian children that are on the street. We have just resolved to go to court to compel all the state governments to remove those children from the street. Because 68 billion naira, which we call the federal government to contribute, is lying fallow. The governments are not bothered. They are supposed to pay counterpart fund to access the money and educate our children. Thank you for staying connected to the very end of this video, my great and wonderful viewers. Femi Falano said a lot. Believe me, he said a lot in this video. If you do not gain anything, if you do not gain anything as a person in this video, go back to the video and listen to the video again. Go back listen to the video listen to every single thing that he said st step by step you will notice that this man this man they are the ones that have been that have been fighting these bad politicians since ever since 1980 somethings they have been they have been trying to 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 battle nigerian go government to do the right thing but no, they decide not to do anything. Can you see if, and what I'm wondering, if this video can go viral to up to like 2 million Nigerians and they hear what Femi Falano said in this video, believe me, a, a, a serious revolution is going to happen in Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. Share this video to all social media platform. Share this video to everybody. Tell your friend to come and watch this video, to listen to this video. Because if we Nigerians do not rise up, it, that's what that's why he said that. If I'm finally said that, if we do not organize, eh, this country will become nothing. But when we organize and come together, we can chase away these hoodlums, these bad people away from the away, away from the government seats. Billions of money 
billions of billions of money are being given to these governors and to shut their mouth and they're not doing anything about it see see he said they removed fuel subsidy by june and they shared all the governors and all the politicians shared 1.9 trillion nera not even billion no they shared 1.9 trillion nera within themselves that money are they not supposed to use that money to pay part of our debts but no December they share 1.7 trillion naira. These people are sharing, they are sharing trillions of money. And we and we the we the masses, we the we the citizens are just there. We are just looking. Nothing is reaching our hands. Education is failing. Students are shouting, school, school, school has come, school has come. And these politicians are doing nothing. All what they just want is to is to collect more money, to collect more money, to collect more money. My people always stay connected to live TV show because I'm really getting provoked right now. I'm getting really provoked. If you do not understand what Femme Fallon has said in this video, go back to the video, listen to the video again. Listen and listen because this man said a lot. He said a lot. My people. Always stay connected to the like button if you show. If you have not clicked the subscribe button, click the subscribe button, the like button, the bell beside it, and also drop your comments in the comment section. Don't forget, share this video to all social media platforms so that everybody will know what is going on. Drop your and don't forget, drop your comments in the comment section. Do everything that you want to say, drop it in the comment section so that we can liaise together, so that we can organize together to battle these people. To chase away these people. My people, see you in my next video. God bless you and God bless Nigeria. Thank you for staying connected and like what TV show. Leave the message up and leave the letters on your chat you. So all we do on this channel is to bring to you the support from the name of God in America and outside America. From the person of Jimmy Greg and Chris Mars, to my business of Bullock and Flame and all of that. So we'll fill you with some values that we're going to from them and also their profession as well. And guess what? Many of these programs are really, really coming through. So just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the programs in the future. Guess what? See you in the next video.